All right, let me make sure I get your first and last name, get the spelling correct okay. and all that. My name is Robert Jacobs, R-O-B-E-R-T, J-A-C-O-B-S. I'm the owner of Handle for Top. Absolutely. So look, now Kia, what, you know, when, it's like when we hear about stuff like this and the police don't have any leads, all we hear is like, here we go, we know this happened, this is what you can report. And we hadn't heard anything else, man. So what, what is the deal? Talk, talk to us about who he was. I've been knowing Kia since I was about 13 years old. We grew up together on where Clayton, Clayton Street, uh, over there off of Alaska Pipe. I, he's been a good friend. He, what I can say about Kia, he was a good man. You know what I'm saying? He was always willing to help people out. He was always willing to try to take care of making sure you got what you needed. You know, he uh, got four kids, two, girl, two girls and a little boy. Uh, it was actually there during the process of whatever happened. I haven't really got any really details on what actually happened. All I know is that they say that somebody came into the house. They say that uh, when, from what I gathered is they knocked and said it was the police. And then next thing they know, they kicked the door and then eventually they start shooting. I don't know whether they started it, like immediately as in the door or what, but the son saw at least the first shot. And, you know, he, he told me in graphic that they, they shot my dad in the side. Now, they said that next, you know, the kids was taken by knife point down the hall. And then at that point, then that's when he was actually killed. Now, as far as what we know, we don't have any leads as of yet. We don't really know anything. I mean, it's a lot of stuff float around the streets. This person may have did, this person may have did, but we don't really know. Uh, as far as Kia as a person, I mean, he was always a family man, you know. He, even in the wheelchair, he took care of them kids, you know what I'm saying? The, uh, the mother was there, but she wasn't there as strong as he was. He, he was like hands on every day, getting them up to school, making sure they got to school back and forth. Even, even when he couldn't physically go do it himself, he made sure that everything was done for them. Uh, you know, he started, he just now started getting a disability check. So he, you know, was supporting, he was supporting his household through his disability. You know, he was working, he did everything possible to make sure that the kids were taken care of. The best he got shot in the first place to be paralyzed that the thing that the nightclub incident at visions about a year back that's when he got shot and from i talked to him and i asked him well, for what happened he said that you know some little boy had got the fight with somebody from Birmingham. that's what the story was about the actual fight he said that the fight happened they put the the, the young man out i'm thinking he was on from what i could tell the young man was on the age and he was actually in the club drinking they got the fight. It said that the young man actually beat up the, the older guy and they put him out, him and his friend out. That's when they supposedly went to the car and got their gun. As his girl was leaving, they, he went out for his, 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 his kid's mother's birthday. That's the only reason he went out. He's, right, not, he's right. mostly a homebody. He stayed at home, staying out, pretty much we stay out the way. He don't bother nobody, didn't really deal with too many people. And that situation is, they let her out. And he's like, that's my girl. I need to go and go out. They wasn't letting nobody else out of the club. And as soon as they opened up the door, he walked out the door that's when they started shooting. He said he was hit uh, in the side first, and then he was in the back. The back was what actually paralyzed. Right, so he's right. been paralyzed for about a year. Uh, last few days that was going on, I was down there at his house pretty much every night. And had I had not had a photography shoot, I would have been there that night. Cause I'll go down there every night and I go talk to him and sit up with him and talk about man stuff, kids stuff, family stuff, just the whole nine yards. That was like that was my partner. That was the person that I could go to when I couldn't talk to him. It was like, that, it, like it hurt me so bad to see that they did him like that. Cause he was too good of a person to be done like that. I mean, I understand that from what they say it was supposed to be some type of robbery. Why? That, that's really my question. Why? Why would you? Why would you do that to a a, a handicapped man? It, it just it just throws me off. Like, I can't fathom that that, that happened. But 
forget it is reality. I keep wanting to wake up and say, when is this dream going to be over? And when can I go down there and see my partner? I can't even go down to the house. Because every time I walk in the house, I want to go in there and say, what's up, Kia? What you doing, bro? How everything going? How you feeling? You need some help with your legs? Because we were starting the process of starting to, because he's, he was starting to get feeling back. And he, you know, he talked to me about how he, he had to use a catheter in order to use the bathroom. He had to actually take his own bile himself. He's like, bro, I had, I had a bowel move. Like, on my own, no, I didn't have to help myself. And I actually got up and piss. He said, man, I can put the cup to myself. And it just, I didn't have to do nothing. It just came out. So he was starting to get some feeling back. And, you know, he was talking to the doctor. The doctor was saying that, you know, about a year is when you get to start the process of feeling if you're going to be able to come back. He's like, man, it's, it's starting to happen. It's been a year, so it's starting to happen. I'm starting to feel like it's going to come back. Help me pump my legs. Can, you, can we start that process? He said, I've been trying to get people to come down there and do it for me, but I didn't want to do it too early, and then it'd, it'd be for nothing. But now I'm starting to feel like it's, it's time, and, you know, we were supposed to start that the day after he died. We had already put it in mind. The day after he died was the day we was going to start the process of pumping his legs again. I come down there and sit with him every day, and I'm right down the street so I can walk down there. So it's like, man, and I got the call. I was doing photography work. I got the call from one of my friends. He's like, man, yeah. Kia's son just called me and said they shot my daddy. I'm like, nah, they shot him. So I, I immediately hung up the phone. I'm talking to the girl that had hired me for the job. I'm like, I gotta go, baby. Something happened with my family members. And she was like, well, if you gotta go, can you drop me off? Cause he's on the way to your house. So I dropped her off It's like two minutes from here, on the way back here. And then I get the call again. Killed him, man. He did. 